Good morning. This is our group presentation. We're group four. You can see our names illustrated here. And we're going to be presenting on Wistron. So first of all, here's the outline. We'll be doing an introduction. And that'll be by myself. And we'll go through these stages towards the conclusion in 30 minutes. So the introduction of Winstron. Winstron here is a supply information and communication technology, products and services to leading companies worldwide. And they like to, as you say, have execution, which is done efficiently, collaboration with other brands, and be innovative with their um, service and their products. And at the bottom it shows they have their innovation with ethical integrity, which we'll discuss later on as well. So they like to have integrity within their business. So about Winstron, uh, their vision that says at the top is to be a global leading technology service company providing innovative ICT products, services and systems. So Winstron Corporation is one of the world's largest ODM companies producing ICT products, so information and communication technology products. The headquarters are in Taiwan, but there are other operations in Asia, Europe and North America. Uh, it's an engineering based company with extensive experience in product development and also developed leading IT concepts for customers that are quickly introduced and readily accepted by the marketplace. So they're very accessible and innovative and good at executing as in their mission statements at the beginning. So Winstrom provides comprehensive support for three complete lines of business, design, manufacturing and after sales service. So the company profile here is that Winstrom was founded in 2001, May 30th. Key products and services being design, manufacturing, after sales support, which is one of their main services. For notebook PCs, desktop systems, server short uh, storage systems, information appliances, handheld devices, and network communication products. Winstrom is an original design manufacturer. It sells products to clients who use their own brands within the marketplace, like Acer and Apple. They offer clients a variety of support services, which are related to design manufacturing and after sales. And the client base consists of branded, global, regional-based, original equipment manufacturing companies. So, 2012, overall revenue was 22.6 billion US dollars worldwide and they're currently under the reins of CEO Simon Lean. So, global operations. Winstrom has a network of design, manufacturing and service team which is 60,000 people worldwide. Quite a large uh, workforce they have. They have offices and operations which are strategically located to help support customers with various products development requirements. So maybe they might be a headquarters or a factory in a certain country or area, but they'll have the support services strategically located for fast and effective service to their clients. Deployment of resources take advantage of individual country strengths while fitting in to overall product development support plans for each customer. Winstron expands, so do the services provided to the customer. So as Winstron does more and has more clients, their services expand. They have a broader range of services. Here are some of the products and services that Winstron provides. As you can see, there's manufacturing, service and design in the circle in the center, and a list of the main products and services that come from the company. So the Winstron Group has the NE Web Corporation. So this here is a product design manufacturing company that provides high quality ODM, JDM, and OEM. JDM being the Japanese domestic market. Winstrom Information Technology and Service Corporation provides language G-localization software, development software implementation, and a local greater China support. AOPEN Incorporated is a major electronics manufacturer. And WeWin Corporation, they produce the cloud services. So they build, distribute, distribute and we sell cloud services to clients who want to transform uh, the current IT 
perhaps into a private cloud. Law firms, service industry examples. CS2R is more of their environmental uh, approach. So the CS2R serves as a collection of corporation sustainability and social responsibility activities within the company. They have an innovation to benefit others. Sustainability and humanity. EICC is the vision and mission of the company's electronic industry citizenship coalition. So you can see through the vision and the mission that they have a application of high standards to create better social, economic and environmental outcomes for all those involved in the electronics and ICT supply chain. Management system, environmental, ethics, health and safety, and labor. Um, environmental is to protect the environment. Ethics to uphold the highest standards. Health and safety to evaluate and control exposure to hazards. And labor is to treat employees with dignity and respect. So these are the actions of the EICC. And the next person to present will be the HR intruder. introduction. I'm Jean. They, uh, this is their workforce diversity. They have plants in Taiwan, China, Jack, and Mexico. And you can see the most uh, employees are actually in China, like the Zhongshan plant and Gusan plant. And then this is their employee structure. As you can see, employees in China and Taiwan are mostly regular employees, and employees in Jack and Mexico are mostly contract workers and outsource providers. But uh, Westron states that they would never use anyone on short-term contract on purpose just to deprive them of their rights. They give all the short-term workers their, their profit, proper benefits and insurance. Um, and the motto of Wistrong Company is that employees are the most uh, valuable assets. It says here that they set up the occupational health and safety management system in order to ensure the safety of all employees through continuous improvement in the management system. This system covers education, training, consultation, prevention, and risk monitoring of serious diseases for employees their families, and co their community. Uh, the next one is their communication channels. Wistron res respects the rights of its employees and believes that the un un uh, unintercepted internal channels of communication can be used to develop a consensus between employees and the, com and the employers. All, all the offices around the world provide a platform for the free and open exchange of opinions. The company also arranges regular employee and employer meetings. These meetings are attended by the chairman, executives, administrative managers, and employee repre representatives. Employees uh, should speak without fear at these meetings, uh, without fear of retaliation, threats, or harassment. And they do that because they believe that employees work most productively when they have a good communication environment. Okay, and then moving on to comprehensive welfare system. Uh, apart from complying with the basic re requirements on benefits, uh, Worcester also strive to enhance the quality of life for their employees. So they organize different benefits uh, based on their gender, their country, region, and age. So there are different like systems for all of them. All Taiwan sites have established an employee welfare committee funded by employee contributions and full-time personnel are assigned to organize employee welfare systems. At overseas plants, Dedicated units and personnel are assigned to planning employee welfare and activities in order to take proper care of their employees. 
And then finally, the balance between work and life. Which one does not encourage overtime working? So they have this white card system uh, to prevent that. And overtime work is only arranged if it is efficient, meaningful, and voluntarily. And um, Worcester also arranges regular health care checks up, checkups and seminars to promote a healthy living. To ensure that the employee receives proper compensation for working overtime. Uh, the swipe card system has been installed and the employees who take too much time to do overtime will be reported to, the, uh, to their supervisors to prevent that they work too much. Okay, now I'm going to present about the next part. It's about um, recruitment process. Um, as you can see here, uh, with Strong, they have so many channels to recruit new employees. First one is about general recruitment. Like they will announce some um, vacancies for employees to know that they, they need new worker. And also they organize some campus recruitment, employee um, rec role. And they also work with some head hunting companies. And as you can see at the table, in 2012, they get five, uh, 50,275 people. It's less than, it's 30% le less than 2011. And as you can see in the table, most of uh, employees in Western, they are under 30 years old. So it's mean like they, they really pay attention on the young talents. They're really interested in recruit new employees who are young and creative. Next one, you can see here in 2012, um, they have new hire, the number of turnover and uh, the new hire that depart in that year. And you can see there are big amount of employees that come and come in and come out from the company. So it's me like they're really flexible in recruit and uh, depart employee. If they can work, they can work. Uh, if they are good, they can work in restaurant for a really long time. But if not, if they don't try, they will be departed. Next one is about um, uh, the employee structure in restaurant. They have many different operation and uh, product in their company. So the employee will be divided based on the need, the demand of each department. So they have two kind of um, recruitment. The first one is regular employee. Mostly they are in Taiwan or China. Um, and also they have some contract worker and outsourcing provider provider from Czech Republic or Mexico. Um, but mostly, as we research, they have um, contract employee from Czech and Mexico, but also they have some part-time and short-term employee. But it doesn't matter they work as contract employee or short-term or um, part-time employee. Every employee will receive the same rights, the same um, benefits as the law from the first day they arrive company. And next one, the same with uh, the company that pro are presented by another group. Uh, which one they also have the uh, exit interview to understand why uh, employee want to leave company so that they can learn and improve themselves uh, to give employee better working environment. And next one about uh, local hiring. Local hiring here is not only just Taiwan or China. It's about the local of uh, manufacturer plant. For example, like they have manufacturing in Czech and Mexico or China, they will um, like before mostly they will. Uh, send man, Taiwanese manager from Taiwan from head, headquarter to other plants. But right now they change their strategy. Instead of sending manager from Taiwan, they will recruit the best talent from local. So they will not have to send Taiwanese manager. They can save money and increase the global uh, culture diversity and to to increase the, uh, increase the role held by local personnel and decrease the manager depart from Taiwan. As you can see here in in the table, like the number of, of local managers 
increasing every year. And the number of um, Taiwanese managers who said who are sent from Taiwan is decreased from 2010 to 2012. Next one about training. Um, after after they recruit new employee to Western, they will give them very good and organized training because for Western they they have the um, slogan kind of slogan that employee career development um, development will build up the company competitiveness and they have three kind of training. First one is um, they they have three stage of training. First one is by the courses training courses in learning and coaching after after training. And uh, first one I will talk about um, training courses. Training courses they have three main um, items. First one uh, they have three main stage. First one is on job training, uh, off job off job learning and self learning. And in this circle, in, in, in this process they will have eight items as you can see here. For example, like new employee or orientation and training, it's special offer for new employee who just came inside the, the company to understand about company and their job content. And also, they have many other professional um, courses. For example, like IT, ERP, ERP it means enterprise um, enterprise resource planning for special IT and um, enterprise employees. And next one is also for, oh, the last one is for overseas training. It's for the executive or Taiwanese manager who, who will be sent abroad. Next one is about e-learning. Not only just have the course face face to face learning, but also they have e-learning that for it, for uh, that employee can learn by themselves uh, to improve themselves. Um, they have um, this year. They have new ten new courses and thirty seven R and D courses only provide in Taiwan. And also, they have other courses for for their supplier, not only for employee but also for supplier, so that the the supplier they can understand more about which sort of product standard, so they can. Uh, serve Western more effectively. And next one, it's about investing. Western invests big amount of money in this training stage in learning. They spend 10 million NT every year for learning, and 99% of courses are conducted by internal uh, internal trainer. It means um, the headquarter employee would be the trainer for for every new employee. And next one, after training and self-learning, they will have the coaching uh, system here. They will have pre-class survey, classroom course, e-learning, and um, periodic follow-up survey. So they can uh, have the idea how employee they improve themselves from the very, very beginning to the end of the training process. Next one. Okay. I'm going to talk about the care and health. And uh, in Wisdom, we need to treat employee as a most valuable asset in the company. Of course, a company, the employees in the company uh, are really important, so you need to take care of themselves. That's why in 2004, Wisdom, they set up the occupational health and safety management system. So basically, this uh, new system is to improve the workplace the workplace environment and a kind of management and fire prevention. So this table shows us a, the, the new OHAS. So it's involved in education, education, training, counseling, and prevention of uh, fatal diseases and risk monitoring. So you can see that the education training, we have a project availability target. We have employees in all plants. That means that we saw provide some education and some training for all the employees in all plants. And the consultation sometimes is offered to employees 
some services are offered to employee families and some, some kind of uh, treatment are offered to wider communities or employees. And now, uh, about the workplace safety management, we know that with one company, usually they deal with electronic, with the mobile device and some electronic. So some, and they're using some uh, heavy machine. So in order to prevent uh, the, the accident, the working accident, and, pre and prevent employees to get easily injured, they want to improve their machinery safety. So they just make some review to fix some machine and improve. And we have a lot of picture when we visit it, but it, it's going to take so much time. Basically, they just improve the technology to prevent, for example, uh, from traditional machine to new technology, like the lean technology, to, to avoid a, a lot of as much uh, accidents. And this one is uh, according to the GIE uh, index, it's a kind of non-profit organization. They, each company should provide them the data to, to show how improvement they did to, to improve, for example, the injury. So we see that uh, Wilson has a few injury. So the rate is only 0 0.40, 0 0.20. The highest is 42. And the lowest day rate is 42 in Czech Republic. So that means that maybe in this point, they got a lot of injury. So it's going to affect the company profit. So basically, uh, the, the, the table is like, the numbers are okay. And uh, the fire prevention is just to provide some courses how to exit a door emergency, emergency door exit, and and so, and the employee health care, we have in Taipei, they have a kind of waste, weight loss play classes to train employees to, to do some sport to avoid getting hurt, attack, and kind of disability. So they have they provide also nutritionists uh, to give employees some diet, some to some diet advices. And uh, this table shows us the medical care and the life and leisure. So in all plants, employees, including underweight workers, they have standard health check every week, every year to, to ensure that uh, they are healthier. And they have nursing for pregnant women and the kids. And check out consultation. And about the compensation part, uh, we shall basically follow three principles. The salary will be even lower than the requirement, than the, that in the country legal minimum wage. And uh, all employees have access to insurance and pension plans. And uh, of course, there is no discrimination in the salary. So that means that the origin, the social status, and the religion will not affect your salary. So if you, you, you do the same job, you, you, you expect to get the, the, the same salary that's uh, in, order, in order employee working in someone, uh, somewhere. So the salary package includes the, 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 the salary, the benefit, and the bonus and dividend. And uh, all employees, they receive two performance evaluation each year. And they use those results to make some promotion uh, and improve the salary. And also, they, uh, we saw they conduct a kind of salary survey every year. Because we know we have like inflation to ask the employees if uh, with the salary they, they get in, is it enough for them to, to support themselves? So they make a kind of uh, revision of the salary. If they think maybe in any country there is like economic crisis and maybe inflation, they could just manage to increase a little bit the salary to help the, the employees living condition. So uh, all employees in which one, whether you are part-time or full-time, you, you have insurance and some benefits. And we could see that the ratio uh, wage and the minimum is high. We see we have in Taiwan 1.06. 1. 1. That means that in Taiwan, the salary we saw, the lowest salary employees in Taiwan get is higher 0.6% than the minimum legal salary. And John Shanghai is really higher because you know that right now in China, the government is, is improving the salary of the the work in China mainland. That's why China, a joint champion and con champion, and Czech Republic is in Europe, of course. The living, the living standard in Europe is higher than in Asia. That's why they could have only un, until 1.5. And uh, this one is the ratio, the, salary, the, the men's salary ratio and women. So a little bit 
it's like in Wisdom, the men's salary is really higher than the women. But they, they just told us it's not related to discrimination, it's about the position. So in Wisdom, the, like, the, man, the top management position is occupied by, by men. That's why the ratio of men and women is a little bit higher. And I'm going to let Ian introduce the social responsibility part. Thank you. Uh, hi, I'm Ping, and uh, this is about their social uh, responsibility management. And uh, the most important core value in this company is to be a people-centric organization uh, that emphasizes on human rights and equal opportunities. And they will also ask their employees to obey uh, CSR-related international standards and local regulations. And they, they, they all also have classes on human rights in all of their plans and in the courses like management training or uh, employee selection uh, they have topics uh, covering uh, social harassment, human rights violations, discrimination and other uh, human rights uh, topics. So uh, they also introduced this uh, system, uh, social responsibility management system, in, into uh, most of their uh, companies in all around the world. And they also have uh, special units in check to monitor the, the company's practices regarding child and other age workers and um, uh, forced labor and other uh, human rights uh, problems. And you can see from we can see from this chart that uh, they have 90% of their uh, steps taking the uh, human rights training, and this is how they deal with child and other age workers and forced labor. So uh, basically, child and forced labor is prohibited by Western, but in some area in some areas they use uh, under age workers because they. They need, need them to feel the need for uh, expanded production capacity, but they only work uh, in uh, less dangerous positions and are subjected uh, subject to enhanced management for their safety. So we we see from this chart uh, they have no child workers, but it has some uh, underage underage workers in uh, plant, in factories in Taiwan. And they also focuses, focus a lot on uh, the integrity of their uh, employment and to provide a sound and ethical work environment. And they, uh, the, all the employees are expected to understand and obey a so-called a, a code of ethics conduct. And they, they need to undergo, they need, need to take uh, ethics training and sign a pledge for ethical practices. So this is their uh, CSR policy. And, and in, in Western they have a so-called CSSR policy or CS2R, uh, which stands for Corporate Sustainability and Social Responsibility. And the essential philosophy of this policy is uh, sustainability, innovation, and humanity. And it covers five main areas, uh, quality and green products, environmental protection, occupational health and safety, and social responsibility. And we will discuss this uh, later. Uh, and the essential philosophy of this policy is to establish a management system for corporate sustain sustainability and social responsibility that will exceed local regulatory and ethical standards. And they also set up a committee, a CSCSR implementation committee, to ensure uh, their company, that, that the policy will be executed based on this policy. So uh, this is the main areas in, in their CSCSR policy. 
uh, in in quality, they uh, they need to in, improve uh, their uh, product qualities and satisfies uh, customers' needs and to reduce uh, the defect rate. And in green products, they uh, it, it means you it means they use low toxicity and energy saving and recyclable design. In environmental protection, uh, they reduce pollution and decrease environmental impacts and implement en uh, energy conservation. And in health safety, they uh, they protect uh, employees' uh, safety and create a, a safe environment and reduce the, the working injury. And in social accountability, they uh, they they try to protect uh, employees' rights and interests and treat them with dignity and respect their human rights. So yeah, I'll try to finish briefly. Here I'm gonna talk about the conclusion and some things to learn. And things to learn from Wishbot is that their emphasis on the human rights, their employees, and equal opportunities by providing them with beyond the legal requirements, and also their social participation to their corporate social responsibility by doing monthly charity events and also partnering and sponsoring organizations for charity and also education, and also their HR development and cultivation. They value diversity and continuous learning on job and off the job, and also on their own by providing these electronic platforms and also getting feedback from surveys after completion and also their safety standards they have their standard operating procedures and all employees have to go through a health and safety training such as fire hazards and first aid training they also have the recreational clubs for leisure um, they have sports sport groups such as uh, baseball and also dragon boating and they also provide facilities for fitness and they even have a massage services and their that's the most important one is the employee welfare where employees must give feedback and comments on improvement on their semi-annual meetings that they call tomato meetings and also they have the strike card attendance system to prevent over fatigue of the workers and in conclusion i'll talk about some of the challenges and their future plans uh, the challenge is similar to the ones of Kimco, which is the rising labor costs, uh, especially in China. Right now, they're paying their employees about 15,000 NT a month, and that's actually a lot compared to Taiwan, which the minimum wage is 20,000, which isn't that much cheaper. And even though they're paying their employees more than the minimum wage, for example, in Shenzhou, they're paying them 32,000 NT, they're still having trouble finding labor because young people don't want to work in factories in, in such long hours. <clears throat> they are considering moving their factory to other areas with cheaper labor, but uh, the places that they are considering, they also have their own struggles, such as Philippines, India, and Vietnam. Uh, Philippines lacks the infrastructure. India, they have too many autonomy cities with individual states, for individual laws per state. And also, Vietnam has troubles communicating and dealing with the communist government. So in the future, in order to remain competitive, because the audio market is actually extremely competitive, their margin is only about 2-3%. So what they plan to do is they plan to decrease their employees by 40% through the automation. And that's it for our presentation. Any comments, questions? Any? Any for you? Go home. Thank you. Yeah, very good. Uh,